This is Feel Good with the Gunpla. And this is part two of the Master Grade Gundam Alex 2.0. Now I put in some work for this kit this time. Like, you know, a couple of hours uh, trying to make this kit as fast as I can. Um, kind of hard to do with my uh, job being overnight. But I did it. At least the main body. But before we get into that, I did a little something with the guns. I don't know if you can see it, but I put some panel line in the barrels to make the barrels stand out more. I would be very careful because a little bit of the paint, I don't know if y'all can see that, came off the barrel. So, you may or may not know it. it I know so it's a little bit, but it makes the barrels inside the barrel stand out more. And I that's why I did that. To try to make them barrels stand out a little more. But other than that, uh that's all I did to it to try to make it pop a little more. Like I said, I've been putting in I've been some been putting in some work this time. Well, extra work because uh I've been building, piece, building, trying to build as much as I can before I go to sleep, before I have to get up and go to work. And here's the leg. Now, I may have said, honestly, I can't remember if I said it in the last one. I'm pretty sure I did, but anyway. The Alex is surprising me in a very good way with his uh, detail, and his detail and color separation. Because here you can see there's a little... To show a little bit of frame, you can pan line that. And I mean, and it just it's it's a good surprise. Here's the feet. You no know, feet are pretty standard, except for the fact that they're bigger than probably the RX78 dash two's feet. Or yeah, RX78 dash two. Yeah, I said it right. And then also pan line the thrusters in the back here. Also on the side. Also I pan line these little small thrusters all over the uh, kit, the main body. Surprisingly, when you do the thrusters like that, put the little pan line, in, black pan line in the yellow part of the thruster, it makes it pop. It makes it stand up more. It makes it more realistic in my opinion. I'm just really surprised. Like I said, I'm really surprised in the, what they have the, well, I can't talk right now. <laughs> Sorry. They have the little uh, pen line uh, spots, a little, little bits of detail and part separation. You know, like right here, you got some parts, some pen line opportunity. If I can get right up in here, right here. I mean, they're small, but. They're pretty, they're pretty, uh, it's pretty impressive. Also, the leg does this. Like when you bend it down, watch this part. This allows to kind of get that, that bend. Also like the feet, I don't know if I can get the feet, but the feet kind of come up a little bit in here too. Uh, I don't know. See, there we go. See how inner feet right in there? Come on. Hey, come on, camera. There we go. The inner feet right here. Uh, the way it pivots up to help with uh, getting them poses. And then when you bend it back. Boom. That's nice. That's very nice. And let's see. Of course, I got both legs. Stickers are not too bad. Only one of them that I haven't used. Let's see. Where is the way? Here we go have the waist now this part here of it keeps coming off the kit but i believe that's my fault because 
I just really should have been more careful how I filed. I think this part. Um, I guess I filed it too far down here, and it makes it so it won't stay on. So, yeah, I guess I have to figure out some way to fix that. But this is the front of it right here. Side that skirts right here. And the back is actually um, separate from it. You have to put it together later. I'll do that in a minute. Plus it has thrusters here. Thrusters on the side here. I think that's pretty cool. Also, but not least, is the backpack, which I hadn't really built a mainly just white backpack. Usually they have a more like a uh, steel gray color, or as I like to call it, your typical Gundam gray color. And there's the thrusters. And I do like how they have the thrusters here, silver, and you got the yellow in the middle. I pan lined in there to make it pop a little more. Now, I think it's time to put this together. What do you think? So, the lower half is put together. So now it is time to put the upper part. And the backpack together. Well, put the backpack on this part here. All right, Alex, the main body of Alex is together. All I need to do now is attach the backpack to it. All right, the backpack is attached on there. And I must say, it looks nice. Very nice. So, all right. Here we go. Gun them out. 2.0. Main body plus backpack. Is put together and I must say I like this very very much I mean I like it better than I thought it would be no I, I like it better than I thought I would like it so next progress video will be of the weapons and then I will start working on Part one of this review, which should be, oops, sorry, the main unit here, plus the weapons. And then I will I actually also have some video with the outer frame on it. Before I keep forgetting the name of the armor, but the additional armor that goes on top of it. Then part two, could be a part three. It's going to at least be two parts. Part two or three will be with the armor on it, plus the head. The bonus headpiece. So here it is in all of its glory. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I appreciate everyone taking the time out today to watch my videos. I really appreciate it and it means a lot. And I wish everyone a good day. Later.